some families this morning, some that want to work with the Jordan Peele on his newest production called Lovecraft Country. This is HBO's newest drama series based on a black man road tripping during the Jim Crow era. Okay, so casting directors with Roselock Casting, they're looking for the following. Several Caucasian children between the ages of 9 and 12. Also, one dark-skinned black boy, 7 years old, and a Caucasian family with a boy and girl ages 9 to 12. I must say, HBO has been doing an outstanding job of filling the void that has been left by Game of Thrones. And here's another outstanding TV series. It looks like Lovecraft Country done by Jordan Peele and J.J. Abrams. And that was the first trailer clip that they gave us. And in this video, we're going to break it down, let you guys know what it's all about, what it compares to, and why you should be excited. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notifications so when I drop videos, you all get them. I'm still having another round of the Power Season 6 t-shirt giveaway. All you gotta do is be a subscriber. Leave me a comment if you've read this book before or if you're excited for the series. And if you are a cord cutter, click the first link in my video description to get some free streams to the end of the year. Let's watch that trailer one more time, then we're gonna break it down and talk about it. I have even gotten the strange part. So the best comparison I can give you guys from everything I'm reading, this is basically Stranger Things with black protagonists. You've got basically a black family going through the 1950s Jim Crow South trying to find a relative. And in trying to find a relative, they deal with racism and races but they also deal with monsters and witchcraft, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm so excited for it. And in the, the trailer clip we just seen, you saw Journey Smollett playing Liddy Dandridge, and she was running for her damn life, bloodied up as hell. We don't know what got after her, and the person running with her is Jonathan Majors, who plays Atticus Black, and he's running with her. And you don't know if they're running from some white racists, or if they're running from monsters that actually destroy people. Then in the next clip after that, you hear who I'm assuming is the Uncle George, who's saying there's weird things going on around here. And then in the very next clip, it looks like you see Jonathan Majors playing Atticus Black, jumping away to avoid a car coming through a house. And I'm gonna assume that that car coming through the house is being driven by some kind of white races or something to that effect. And the story, the book was originally written by Matt Ruff, and the premise of the whole entire thing was you have African Americans living in a landscape of white America with racism, and you have Atticus Black, who joins up with Latia, that's his friend, and his Uncle George to embark upon a road trip across America in search of their missing father. This begins a struggle to survive to overcome both the racism and to overcome the monsters in this time frame coming from the paperback book, Love Craft. And the issue that these African-Americans are having to face is, which one is worse? The threat of the racist or the threat of the monsters? That is the core question that this story is gonna deal with and I'm just thinking, man, I can't wait to see this thing. It is going to be so good. Your actors on this thing, we've already talked about Jonathan Majors, Journey Smollett. We didn't mention Michael K. Williams, Courtney B. Vance, Jamie Harris, just a star-studded crowd. And the book came out about two years ago, I think 2016, and it looks like this. It was a great novel. A lot of people read it. I personally only read excerpts from it. But this is a look of the back of the book, and it sets place in Chicago in 1954, and one excerpt from the back of the book says, Atticus discovers his father in chains, held prisoner by a secret cabal, the Order of the Ancient Dawn. And it's got the, this led by Brain White and his son, Caleb, which was gathered to perform a ritual that shockingly centers around Atticus and his one hope of salvation may be the seed of his and the whole Turner's clan's destruction. Boy, 
if they incorporate this thing into the movie, I'm just like, man, this is gonna be creepy and weird. Like I said earlier, black people going Stranger Things, trying to be heroes in a time where they're facing two major adversaries that threaten their life. So I want you guys to leave me comments. Have you read the book? Have you seen this before? Are you excited for what they can do with this thing in HBO? Because HBO pushes those boundaries. If you haven't seen Watchmen that HBO is doing, I would encourage you to go watch that. It is a great show that they have done, and hopefully this will fall right in line. It seems like everything HBO gets turns to gold. This should be no different. Great cast, great production team. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe. Go get yourself that life game. Leave me your comments. And if you want to further support this channel, check out everything I got to offer in my Shop Life Gain store. And you can leave a brother a Patreon donation of a dollar or two. It all helps add up to keep bringing this content. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.